Okay, here we go. I'm just going to set up and show you guys exactly what's involved in the um, timber challenge. Let me just quickly show you a few things. I'm using exactly the same toolkit you guys are going to have. You'll notice I'll be working off the full size drawing. That full size drawing, you'll have one at the show, that makes it so much easier. Don't bother measuring with the ruler, just measure off the drawing. You are getting, there's the base with a bait, double stop rebate, exactly like that one. In your base, that's 17 and a half millimetres thick, you've got to plane that down to 16. That's your shelf material, cut over width, as you can see it's rough as, you've got one rough edge, one smooth edge. Plywood back, door, bit of 12mm thick timber for the top. As you can see I've picked the rubbish, I'd rather get rid of the rubbish on a um, demo job. And these are the two sides. It will have, as you see here, the rebate run in it for the ply. You don't need to bother running a rebate for the ply. It will have one in it, just as you see there. Key thing to getting this thing done in time. Yeah, you've got a time limit, but don't rush. That's the key. Go once. Get it done right the first time. My garbage bin is straight down there. Okay. First things first, let's just get the top cut the size. You will be using a shooting ball. And there is a shooting ball. Your tools will be sharpened. The stuff you have will be as sharp as this. The top, still about a millimeter oversize. Almost there. Each one of these paint swipes is taking a little bit of a um, millimeter. Okay, there it is. Plane to width. Plane to length. Two swipes of the plane off there. Next one, we might as well do the base while we're just working on timber. Let's see if I cut this one any better. myself a massive clean up job on that one too by cutting it oversized. Bit more to go but that's good. You've actually got to do your timber prep on this one. So let me put the shooting board away. Here is another tool you'll need to use, a planing stop. You need to thickness this down to 16 millimetres. Set your marking gauge to 16 millimetres. Top side is marked face. Run it all the way around it. You'll just be needing to thickness the timber down just a bit. 
I've already done two thirds of it for you in a thicknesser. So you've got to take that much off of it. 